Farm fresh corn on the cob, drenched in butter, sprinkled with spicy seasonings topped with Parmesan. Each piece is about 112 calories. I've gathered everything I'll need to make my roasted corn on the cob. Six ears of corn, spicy pepper, salt and Parmesan cheese, salted butter, cayenne pepper, and garlic. Knife, garlic press, and cutting board. Nine by 13 inch baking dish, and strainer line Dutch oven. I'm starting with the butter preparation first. The Nutrition Facts label shows two teaspoons of butter equals 10 grams and has 70 calories and eight grams of fat. This recipe requires one quarter cup of butter equal to 60 grams. For accuracy, I'll weigh this glass bowl first, zero my scale, then weigh the butter. Next, I'll use my garlic press to mince my garlic. This insert has a fine mesh base. You'll see how effective this garlic press is in a minute. But first, I'll need to prepare the garlic for the press. After selecting three clove sections, I'll smash each one first with the flat edge of my knife to remove the skin. You can simply peel the skin away if you prefer, but smashing the garlic makes removing the skin much easier. Once the skin is removed, each garlic can be pressed through the mesh base. Running a knife along the outside of the mesh releases the balance of the garlic from the mesh. One quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper is added next. I'll set this mixture of ingredients aside until later. I'm filling my Dutch oven with a small amount of water, no more than two inches or five centimeters. When the strainer is inserted, the water level should remain below the strainer base and no water will be visible. This strainer inside the Dutch oven with a small amount of water will be used to steam the corn. I'll need to figure out the calories and nutrition for this farm fresh corn. One corn cob measures seven and a half inches by two inches. Next, I'm removing the corn kernels to weigh and measure them. After zeroing my collection cup, I'll transfer the corn to determine the weight. One seven and a half by two inch corn cob has an edible portion of kernels weighing 152 grams and by volume measures one cup. According to Self Nutrition Data, a site we use for nutrition info, one cup of fresh corn, white or yellow, weighing 154 grams has 132 calories. So we'll multiply that number by six ears of corn to determine the calorie count for this recipe. The kitchen sink or any deep basin is useful for shucking the corn and removing the silk and outer leaves. Once the silks and outer leaves have been pulled towards the stem end, they can be collected in one hand and with a vigorous twist, the stem snaps free. I'll continue until all six ears of corn are free of outer leaves and silk and ready to be steamed. A length of stem remains at the end of this ear of corn. I'm cutting it off so it will fit inside the baking dish. Each ear of corn is cut in half to create 12 pieces of corn on the cob and placed inside the strainer. Some strength is required to chop this corn in half. With all 12 pieces of corn on the cob in my strainer, it's time to cover with a lid and steam the corn. I'm turning the heat to high until the water boils. Once the water reaches a boil, I'll turn the heat off and allow the corn to steam for 15 minutes, then transfer the steam corn to a heat-proof surface to cool slightly. The final preparations will take only minutes. It's time to preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. The butter, garlic, and cayenne mixture are microwaved for 30 seconds until melted. A quick stir mixes everything evenly. After pouring the melted butter mixture into my shallow baking dish, I'll tilt the baking dish to coat the bottom. Next, each steam cob of corn is rolled in the butter mixture and lined up to make room for all the corn pieces. If you prefer, you can roll and line up the corn by hand as I'm doing. All 12 corn on the cob pieces should fit nicely into a 9 by 12 inch baking dish. 
Before oven roasting, there's one last step, seasoning. I'm sprinkling one half teaspoon of salt over top, then one half teaspoon of spicy pepper, and a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. The cheese is moist and not moving freely. I'll sprinkle the rest by hand. The baking dish goes into the oven uncovered to roast for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, this corn looks absolutely delicious. There's just one more step to complete the cooking process. I'll turn the broiler on high to brown the top of the roasted cobs of corn. This takes less than a minute. Just look at this beautiful roasted corn. Fresh, buttery, and seasoned to perfection and ready to serve. See how the broiler creates this gorgeous browning. The underside has been left unbrowned. If you prefer, you can turn the corn to the opposite side and broil it as well. A two-piece serving of corn is 225 calories. These three pieces of corn are about 337 calories in total. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and click the notifications bell to get all the latest under 300 calories recipes.